Welcome to another episode of Rock and Roll Cooking with your host, Sal B. Today we have from Vancouver, Canada, two brothers who are setting the west coast of America on fire, Nim Vind. Today we're making chicken marsala and rock and roll cooking with Sal B. A succulent dish for any dinner party you're gonna throw. And on rock and roll cooking with Sal B, we love to party. We love to cook. It's what it's all about. And here we are with Nimbin from Vancouver, Canada. Uh, guys playing a show last night? Yeah, that's killer. This man. is Nimbin himself. Thank you very much. And uh, what was the game? Uh, it was the Bowery Electric. We had a good time, and uh, I understand there was a few uh, celebrities in the house. Yeah, there's one sitting uh, on the set tonight. Yeah, you never know who's back camera on Rock and Roll Cooking with Sal Bay. Yeah, um, we got the good doctor with us tonight. Uh, was uh, Johnny Johnny uh, Z there? Uh, Johnny Z wasn't there, but his daughter uh, Ricky Zazu was there. Okay, and, uh, she's a real good friend of ours, and our old. And you have you have Johnny that backs you a little bit, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah, Johnny's a real great friend, uh, friend to him, and uh, we're happy that he is. Cause, uh, I would be too. I wish I could work with a guy like that. Yeah. And this is your brother, Tony. My brother Tony, yeah. Tony, what's your nickname? Anthony Kills. Anthony Kills. <laughs> you gotta love it. Okay, we're just using a, a chicken cutlet. Uh, unpounded, because it's not really very thick. And we, what we do here is we just roll it in some flour and get it all covered up nicely. And we're gonna dip it into our pan with the rest of the chicken that's already going. There you go. See, on Rock and Roll Cooking with Sal B, we use our hands. It's an essential part of cooking. There's no way out of it. We're gonna cover the chicken as it's sauteing in the frying pan, and it'll just make it cook a little faster. It'll provide a little more heat. It's a bit of an odd name. Uh, um, how, did, how did we come up with the name of the group? Uh, uh, it's just that, well, to be honest, uh, there's a million names, like, uh, like, I didn't want to be called like the dump trucks, or like the, the soccer balls, or like the whatever, right? It's, I like it's the it's taken, the I like soccer balls, balls too. What, the, the, the name Ninbin is a combination of a bunch of different things, isn't it? Yeah, there's the acronym for the National Institute of Mental Health, like the NIM, right? Uh, but it, that's N-I-M-H, and I'm not very mentally healthy, so I took off the H, and so there's just NIM, so it's like a name. And then Vind is short for vindications, so what it really means to me, freedom by insanity or freedom by not being able to follow a set of rules or not being interested in a set of rules and that's what the whole band really is about. Okay we have our chicken breast fillets simmering in our frying pan and uh, we've got to get it being that it's poultry it has to be cooked all the way through nice and brown on both sides a good 10 minutes they're thin fillets so it's not really going to take all that long. We're going to add our ingredients to our chicken masala, which is some sliced mushroom, chopped shallot. I like to use shallot instead of onions with the specialty dish because it adds a little bit of extra flavor. It's slightly different, a little bit more exotic, and of course, some chopped garlic. Yeah. And Nimvid has uh, right now two full-length CDs. Yeah. Uh, the Fashion of Fear, uh, the first fear. release, and The Skill and the Cellness, okay. second release. And uh, do you play songs? From these CDs in your set? Yeah, yeah absolutely. That's the whole set. And, and are you working on your third record? We're working on a third record. Where is it being recorded? Um, it's being recorded. Well, it's been recorded by a good, a very good friend of ours. That's a long time, uh, long, long time engineer, uh, Doug Fury out in Vancouver. Oh, uh, that's a that's a very familiar name. Doug Fury was in a band called A Bit Naked. You probably you, you might have seen him. He played on everything. She's been on Jay Leno. He's done all kinds of big stuff. Yeah, and I then sure have. But the, uh, the extra thing about this record that we're really proud of is that uh, we, we've managed, Lynn was 
managed to, our manager managed to convince Jay Russin to do some mixing on it. So uh, from he did like skills. That's very manager. impressive. That's a, that's a big name. Yeah, to he's, have on your record. Yeah, he's a he's a he's a hit maker. So uh, it's gonna sound like an airplane landed on your head, which is sensational. Wow, man. that's what I need. Yeah, an airplane's loud, and that's good. And uh, how many tracks are going to be on this uh, album? Uh, there's ten, ten pounding tracks. Ten pounding tracks. Is there a name? Can we divulge the name yet? Sure. Or it's called Saturday Night Seance Songs. So far. Saturday Night Seance Songs. <laughs> so far. <laughs> a lot of alliteration. I like the so far at the end of it. That's but uh, <laughs> <laughs> we got some nice caramelization going on. This is our mushrooms, our garlic, and our chopped shallot. And we're gonna work it in there. Bring the heat up a little bit. Okay, we're gonna cover up our ingredients in our chickens. What, what, what town from Vancouver are you guys from? I'm from uh, the Glorious East Van, you know what I mean? Uh, okay. Um, is it Vancouver like a province or is it a, it's a it's city? A city. Right? It's, it's a city. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. I'm not too familiar with Canada. <laughs> Just the absinthe. Just the absinthe. <laughs> and a little bit, and maybe some We stuff. had a lot of fun with uh, Dr. Chuck's export up in uh, Hamilton, in Toronto. Oh, yeah. And uh, Very cool. we, we laid ruin to a few uh, establishments. Excellent. But, um, they deserve it. That's, that's completely yeah. the other side of the country. It's the other guys. side. It's night and day. Yeah. Is it really? Uh, I'd uh, say is Vancouver it, is much it, more similar to like Cal Seattle, California, California that, kind of thing. Yeah, but Cascadia is what we call it. They use all the Cascadia. So it's, it's cool. Yeah, it's <laughs> cool. Have you guys been to New York before? Or was last times. night was your first show? No, many times. Many times. And and your market is mainly in Europe. Uh, our market is uh, scattered all over the place, but we uh, we tend to go to Europe a lot because um, the the biggest reason is because it's really easy to tour Europe for a band like us because your jobs are really short uh -huh. and uh, they have a really great uh, like, um, like death rock, horror punk, rock and roll scene all kind of jammed into the same small country so you can really uh, do a lot of damage right on. around and then when you got to go to places like uh, Sweden or Denmark or, or uh, you take the Austria ferry boat? Whatever. Yeah, yeah, you, you yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I remember some that. ferry boat rides yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> me too, yeah I read your bio one sheet, and you had some pretty Im impressive festivals under your belt. Yeah, we yeah. we played, uh, we headlined the uh, Wave Gothic Treffen in Leipzig. It's the biggest uh, goth festival in the world. We yep. played there. Uh, We've been to Leipzig, right, Chad? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. He's been everywhere, man. He's yeah, been, he's, he's been, been everywhere a few times. Yeah, yeah. I was only everywhere twice. <laughs> <laughs> but it was enough. fun being there. Yeah. Um, and. Tony, in the band, you play the drums. Yes, correct. Okay, but well you can play a little acoustic bass guitar for us tonight. I am, I'm gonna try. Add it, boy. Okay, what we're gonna do is add a tiny bit of water to our chicken. Mushrooms are gonna suck up a lot of water. We got our chicken breasts. We just gotta get those mushrooms a little brown. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn up the heat a little bit. It's really starting to come together. I don't know if you can smell through YouTube, but if you could, it smells amazing. Let me ask you a question. What was it that got you into rock and roll? Was it one song? Was it one record? No. It was, um, well, obviously, yeah. I mean, uh, me and Tom, that's my brother. And uh -huh. uh, our father was in uh, Vancouver Symphony for many years. For uh, what race. instrument? 44 Second. years. Second trumpet. Are you kidding me? Yeah. yeah. Wow. So you come from an established. And our Professional uncles, music background. Yeah, and our uncles are from New York, and they they played with uh, their friends and jammed out with guys like Johnny Thunders and Peter Ramone. So oh, those are some of my all-time heroes. Yeah, so it's everywhere for us. It's, it's everywhere. There was never a guitar player. He was like our version of Mick Ronson. I don't know how to describe it. He, Another he, great guitar player. When if Ronson. when you saw Johnny in his heyday, like you know before. Things started happening. It, it, how could you not love the New York Dolls, man? Back back when that was happening, it was really incredible. I don't want to date myself, but let's talk about labels. 
Sure. Are these records on major labels, or what's going on with these things? That's on Fashion Fear. Uh, is on Game Force Records and okay. Cargo Distribution. Oh, Cargo is very good. They distribute yeah. a lot of uh, material yeah. I'm familiar with. And then the second album is on Silver Dust Records, which is our good friend Akeem from Germany, who runs like the Summer Breeze Festival, which is a really huge festival. It sells out every year there. Um, a very cool package, by the way. Yeah, yeah, he did all that for us. He did Impressive. Amazing, I, I, mean, I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like that. Yeah, it's in, in very, Germany, very cool. We're the us and Led Zeppelin are the only people with a <laughs> Super Jewel case. You know, you press. That's the what they, that's the name of it. Is the Super Jewel? Ah, uh, that's not that's. That's the, is there uh, official name for something American like this? Version. Yeah, there was a Super Jewel case. Wow. Uh, came out oh, honor. Thank you, guys. Okay, we're ready to add our main ingredient. Why we call it chicken marsala. Or marsala wine. Which makes it super salby delicious. Okay. We are just about the spot. We're going to add our wine. We don't want our onions and garlic to and we're gonna really put it in there. And that's gonna really come together. We're gonna get a beautiful little consomme going in there. Look at all those beautiful ingredients. Wow, the aroma from that Marsala wine really kicks this up to a five-star dinner. Only thing I'm gonna do here is crack a little pepper on it. Because this is get baby is getting ready to plate. Chop a little parsley for garnish. Okay. Get all those juices out of there. What we're gonna do here is just a little greenery. There you have it, a beautiful chicken marsala dish. Okay, we have chicken marsala for our good friends from north of the border, Nimvid. Hope they enjoy. There you go, guys. Thank you. That was awesome. Yours. That's good, man. With a little salad. It's rock. I'm going right. This is Nimvid. Eating. <laughs> um, I got a little pecorino romano. Can't have dinner without it. What are we talking about during dinner? Um, mm. It's a good question. We don't know what to talk about. We usually just sit here. Oh, I'm used to small bit. Just attack. And if we're, on a, if we're at a show, we're usually just ransack everything. <laughs> Trap our bus, get up to the back door, put it all in there. I gotta say, it's the first time I've ever eaten on camera. Yeah, me too. I don't know if my egg is as good as I thought it was. Yeah. <laughs> Looks awesome, man. Thanks a lot for having us to your table. Yeah, it's really good. Now your account, I just start going. It happens everywhere.
Well, I think this is going to be our biggest episode yet. We've been waiting to get you. Got me. 